Hey, I'm Roxanne. And I'm Blake, and this is Chow Tour Austin. When we decided to go to Austin for Chow Tour, the first thing we wanted to cover was barbecue. So we called up some friends who live in Austin and posted on Chow Hound. We wanted to find the best barbecue in the city, and one name kept coming up over and over again, Franklin Barbecue. All right, y'all ready for this? Yeah. This is Aaron Franklin. He owns Franklin Barbecue with his wife, Stacy. Stacy and I bought a little smoker and um, just kind of did a brisket and it was really bad and we kept on working at it. Moved our backyard to this corner on the side of a highway in a parking lot and now this corner is getting moved to a building so kind of gradually stepping it up. We only use all natural meat, you know, no growth hormones or antibiotics. They serve ribs and sausages but we were there because we heard the brisket was awesome. So this is the brisket, kind of comes from this part of the cow. There's two muscles involved. There's the flat right here, which is kind of the lean side. And then there's the point, which is the fattier side of it, more like a ribeye kind of texture. And it's got a, a nice little fat layer on top. And that's about 50-50, half salt, half pepper. In a perfect world, you'd use as coarse a pepper as you could find. This is 16 mesh, and then always use kosher salt. Ooh! It's gonna be so much cooler when we have a building. You don't have to like walk from trailer to trailer. So you want the big fatty half towards the fire and you want the fat on top. And then you shut the door and you don't look at it for a real long time. I'm smoking my smoky mixed smoky suns. <laughs> All we use here is oak. It's not too smoky, it has a good flavor. It's an indirect heat. For briskets, we normally keep it about 260 or 270. It's a variable that you're constantly messing with. If it's really humid outside, if it's really dry, if it's hot, if it's cold, if it's windy, all those things greatly affect the fire, which thus affects cooking time, and it's not uncommon to have an all-nighter. All right, that should be good. That it is such a labor-intensive food just kind of makes it more gratifying when you pull it off. People show up sometimes two hours before we open. They want to take a whole brisket home with them a whole brisket. It's like Y2K of meat. If it's going to run out, I want more of it. Hey, over here. Even though the brisket had smoked so long, the smoke flavor was really subtle. The meat was well seasoned and very tender. Nearly all the fat had rendered out, so it was a little bit greasy, but in a good way. It was really, really good. Most people, including Aaron and Stacy, will tell you to really check out Central Texas Barbecue, you've got to get out of the city. We asked them to take us to one of their favorite places. They chose Louie Miller's and Taylor. This is what a, a brisket should be. This is what it should be compared to. This is Wayne Miller. He's the third generation co-owner of Louis Miller Barbecue. His family has been smoking brisket in this building since 1959. Beef is where it's at. Brisket is, is really what Texas barbecue is known for. You have many cattle drives coming through Texas during the late 19th, early 20th century. A lot of the local flair of the Texas Hill Country really is Eastern European in origin, German, Czech, Polish, and a very pragmatic Prussian mindset. Barbecue was really one way to help preserve their meats from spoilage. You would smoke the meats, it would give them a longer shelf life. It's usually with a dry rub. Sauces are something that is more of just a compliment. As Grandpa said, if people walk out the door talking about your sauce, then you've done something terribly wrong. It's really about enhancing the flavor of the meat and enjoying the meat itself. There is a very artistic and artisan aspect of this cuisine. Each brisket has to be tended to personally. You have to know how much heat it requires, how much heat it's had, what it still requires to finish off. That's done by these instruments. It's all by feel and touch. In the next video, we check out Austin's food trailers. <laughs>